if you are new to my channel and you don't realize you want to see my real hair, this is my real hair. Woke up early this morning. <laughs> Love me now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a video that you guys have requested over and over again. I'm talking to you today about halos. A lot of people don't realize that like, I have really, really terrible hair. I cannot grow my hair past this point. I've always had really thin, baby fine hair. Obviously like my natural hair color is not blonde, so dyeing it blonde just makes it 10 times worse. So this is my real hair. But I'm gonna show you how transformative the halo is. So all I do is I dry my hair, and then I go around and I throw some curls into the end of my hair. I'd say about seven curls total. Really, really simple. I don't curl the ends so that it'll blend. So that it'll blend. So that's all that I'm going to do for now. Now I'm going to show you all the different types of halos after I put this one in. But the one that I'm going to be putting in today, and the one that I'm really loving for fall because it matches my hair color, is the. Halo, this is the layered halo. So I've just started wearing the layered halo and it's the color B613. This is from the new Biolage line from Halo. So used to, when I wore a halo, I would have to put a root on it. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. This one came colored exactly like this. And you might see it doesn't exactly match my hair, but that's the beauty of the halo. It always blends. So it's totally your preference, whether you put your halo up here, which is what's recommended, or here, or even back here. I typically put mine about right here. I wear a halo every single day. So sometimes like after you wear it a long time in the same spot, you want to switch it up so that it doesn't feel uncomfortable. All you're going to take is this comb. This comb comes with the halo and you're going to pull that real hair through. Like so. It's totally a miracle. I remember the first time I was introduced to the halo. Lauren Elena, the country music singer, she actually told me about it. She's like, girl, you're going to get this halo. It's on a piece of fish wire, and it's better than any extension I've ever used. And I'm thinking, what the heck? Then I went to a salon that sold them, put it in my hair, and was like, no way. What's awesome about the halo, A, it blends super well. B, you can take it out. But C, it holds curl like you wouldn't believe. And I, as you can see, like I now have all this hair and I don't even have to curl it. Obviously, like once you have your halo in, you can tease it, you can do whatever you want. You can obviously add some more curls. I'm just showing you guys how simple it is to put in. So halo is 100% Remy human hair. I don't mess around with fake hair because if you're going to invest in a hair piece, you have to invest in real hair for just curling it, for heat styling it, for uh, washing it. You just want something that feels and looks like real hair. So let me tell you about the different options of Halo. So I typically wear, or I've worn for years and years, just the standard original Halo. This is the original Halo. I told you guys on my wedding day, I wore two original Halos, so I just stacked them right on top of each other. But the one that I just put in my hair is the layered Halo. I just was introduced to the layered Halo and I love it. What's pretty awesome about the layered Halo is it comes with a little bit more hair and it's layered, so I don't have to get it cut. Whenever I got the original halos, I would always have to have my um, hairdresser kind of blend it with my real hair. She would just kind of take scissors and just kind of cut downward, um, kind of like razoring the hair at the end. What's cool about the layered one is you don't have to do that. I do have the ponytail. I don't wear it a lot, but you can get a ponytail. You can also get a fall, which is um, it kind of clips into your hair right here. If you're a person that has super, super thin hair or has issues with your hair or something like that, it's almost like kind of like a half wig and those are really great adds a ton of volume um, I like mine looking more natural and I like all this to be my real hair so I stick with these now there are different lengths so for the layered halo it's a little bit more limited the layered halo I believe has a 14 inch an 18 inch and a 22 inch whereas the regular halos the original halos I'm looking right here 12 16 20 and 24 so that measures from where the halo starts to the length. I typically wear the 12 and the 16. I feel like I'm too short and it's too heavy um, to wear like the 20 or the 24, but it's totally your preference. So this one is the 20. This is the longest that um, this is the longest that I've I've worn, and it feels a little heavy after you've worn it for a long time. So I really love this. It's really beautiful if you want a really glam look, but I typically prefer the shorter ones. So. In the olden days, when I got the original Halo before they had the Biolage line, 
I would have my hairdresser dye it to match my real hair. So as you can see on this one, this is the color um, 60. It's like the platinum shade. But, you know, I don't have platinum hair. I have a root. So I would always have her add a root to match my own root. So you can do that. Or now you have the option of getting the biolage. So I never really do that anymore. Now, what's really cool. So I would say a halo. So I wear my halos every day. And they last me about six months. If you wear your halo just for special occasions, these things can last you well over a year. They're great price points. It's going to depend on like where you are. Um, you can look on their website. I'm going to link their website. But you can go into a provider that has a halo. They can match you for whatever color. And, you know, you get your halo. They ship it to you. Uh, they range anywhere from like $300 to about $400. That's going to vary depending on the salon that you're at. When my halos get old, so they just feel like, just think of it as real hair. So when your real hair gets dry and damaged, you're gonna trim your real hair. With a halo, it's not growing out of the scale, unfortunately. So you're going to eventually run into the, it feels a little dry and brittle, it doesn't curl as well, it just looks like unhealthy hair. So I color my um, halos fun colors, even though there is a prism collection. So if you wanted to buy a halo colored like this, you could. But once my halos kind of are dead, <laughs> Then I use this um, viral celeb luxury wash. I'll link it below. It's like $24. And I dye them different colors. So if I want pink hair or if I want blue hair, which you guys have seen me wear lately, I just dye my own halos. I've had extensions for 10 years. Great links, um, the metal clamps, the tapes, the every single kind of extension. And when I found the halo, I never looked back because there's nothing like being able to have beautiful blended hair like this and being able to take it out and put it in when you want to. I hope you guys love this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll be going right here. And come back really soon. Hey, just head left. You know I was wrong, man.